And you saw those numbers right there. Penn State was red hot against Nebraska in their last win. Oh, nice little layoff there to Mike Watkins, who's coming off a really good game. A couple of uh, important wins for Penn State. They've knocked off a ranked Michigan team, a top 10 Michigan team. And Illinois on this very floor has knocked off a top 10 Michigan State. Team. Penn State has the second toughest schedule in the nation. The Illini, number three. Yeah, nice move and spin and the finish there from Jamari Wheel. See, a lot of teams utilize that to try to take time off the shot clock. They can get steals out of it. The shot is really going right at Mike Watkins. That will be an interesting matchup to watch all day. You got a veteran big in Mike Watkins and the freshman big in Bashanis Wheeler, who's playing with some great confidence right now. Wheeler oh, again goodness. taking it in. He's going to the rack early. Much the same here now that he's gotten used to playing at this level. They're a real thing about oh, Lamar Stevens left all alone. This release, very difficult to defend. And I want to shout out the Michigan Wolverines, who tomorrow... Oh, oh, had a big one, right? Yes. 30-year anniversary of their championship. Good job by Bolton maintaining the possession. And Felice giving all kinds of problems. Illinois known for his defense, and what a take there for Bolton, who did not give up on that possession. He knows his role as well as any player in the Big Ten, and I think that's why you start to see Penn State have a resurgence. Stevens, acrobatic oh! finish. How did he get that one to go? Yeah, and you know what? Because they have good habits. I mean, they go hard in practice. I would encourage any high school player, if you want to know how hard you approach this level, go to a Penn State practice. Go down a little bit. Reeves has got to let it fly. He does. Four on the shot clock, and that's a three-point make. Josh Reeves, that's a clutch shot. Oh, the scoop and score for Bolton. For sure, Bolton. It's offensive execution by the Nittany Lions. You know, Illinois still 0 for its last seven. They needed that bucket back from Felice. Well, that's a bulldog of a move. Something really, really drastic happens. There hasn't been a, a 16 loss team except for one team back in 2012 to make the NIT. Great call. Take a double digit lead to the halftime. Feel good about themselves. Felice from around the screen into the corner. It's Aaron Jordan with a big three. Fine, maybe positionless basketball. A bunch of guys from 6'4 to 6'8. Why did it work that year when it hadn't really been done before? Well, it really worked because all of us were interchangeable, much like you see in the NBA. You need to turn their defense into offense just like they just did here. Get turnovers and get out on the break and turn those turnovers into offense. The kick out to Jordan had a big <laughs> shot there from the wing. It's constantly without Ethan Happ. Sim similar situation. <laughs> Oh, to nice job by Jamari Wheeler getting his big man involved in the game. The back to a look, It's Frazier with the finish. Loader can get it, but that'll work. Reeves with the follow. How about it? Look at this set play to get Lamar Stevens. Jamari Wheeler couldn't find him. Miles Tread. He only had a little bit of space to get that off. He was looking at the bucket. Back in with four fouls. Into the lane. Body bucket and run. Count it for Felice. Here is Steven. That's a heck of a move by Jamari Wheeler. Just trying to get the ball into the paint area. You saw they weren't selling for three-point shots. They were going to attack the rim. Police gets it. Picked up on the defensive end. He's giving them a spark, 17 points. Stevens taking the contact again. After time, you see the brute strike on some of his buckets. That's a three attempt and it falls for Frazier. His first of the game to shut the door here today against Illinois, up by nine. Oh. Finger roll finish and the timeout there for Illinois. Two big free throws, by the way, for Jamari and Wheeler. Well, it was only right, only fair, and only the right thing to do to have you here. Important to know that conference record is not necessarily considered to be NCAA tournament eligible. Penn State wins it, 83-76, to 76, picks up the fourth conference win.